then you tighten up. Kick a field goal, then you tighten up. First and ten, then you tighten up. Interception, then you tighten up. Fourth and goal, then you tighten up. Kick a field goal, then you tighten up. First and ten, then you tighten up. Interception, then you tighten up. What's going on guys? Welcome to another edition of Titan Town. Today I'm going to be talking about the undrafted free agents the Titan Tennessee Titans did sign after the 2018 NFL Draft. And I apologize this video is coming out late. I meant to do it right after I recorded the other video. But while the other video was rendering I had some stuff pop up that I had to go and take care of. So it might be a day or two once I get the video edited and rendered and everything before I actually get it onto uh, YouTube to where you can watch it. But here I am. I'm back. I'm getting it done. Hope you guys enjoy it. The Titans did sign a bunch of undrafted free agents. So I actually pulled it up on my phone because I can't read it all. Or I couldn't remember it all. So I'll just go through and read them. And then I'll tell you my overall thoughts and who I actually think has a chance to make the uh, Titans actual 53-man roster. Because I do think there are a few who are actually going to compete and uh, try to make that roster right away. Uh, the Titans cut Alex Tanney, a defensive lineman, can't remember his name, and um, Kalfani Muhammad today. Uh, so, for that reason, uh, one of these, some of these guys are going to have available spots that they're going to be able to compete and see what happens. And there's some that I believe, if the Titans cut, they're not going to be able to put them on their practice squad because if they try to do that, another team would come in and pick them up. So, starting from the bottom of this list and reading up. Uh, Dalen Dawkins, running back from Colorado State. Matt Dickerson, defensive end, UCLA. Elijah Goins, wide receiver, Ohio State. Ryan McKinley, cornerback, Montana. Nick DeLuca, linebacker, North Carolina State. That's, that's the school Carson Wentz came from. Uh, Cameron Bats, Batson, wide receiver, Texas Tech. Austin Bernard, punter from SMU. Andrew Ankra, JMU. Have no idea what that stands for. Uh, they signed an offensive lineman from there as well. And Aaron St Stinney. Joshua Kalu, defensive back, Nebraska. Uh, oh, Lord, I don't know if I'm going to say this name right. Elijah Inkasa, offensive tackle from Toledo. Tejan Kamora. Center from BYU, Jordan Vasley, wide receiver from California, Devin Ross, wide receiver from Colorado, Mike Ramsey, defensive line from Duke, Nico Fala, offensive line, U UCS, Rico Gafford, cornerback, Wyoming, Ethan Wolf, tight end from Tennessee, JT Looper, wide receiver. Uh, Central Oklahoma, Larry Rose the third running back, New Mexico, Sheriff Finch Edge from Temple, Damon Webb safety, Ohio State, Deontay Bur Burnett wide receiver, USC, a Chrome Wadley running back, Iowa. Now there is a lot of talent on that list. It's a good thing the Titans signed all of these guys because we didn't make too many draft picks. The uh, strategy this year for John Robinson was to trade up and get difference makers and best, of play, best, best available players right out of the gate. Now, some of the guys I think can make it. Uh, a Crum Wadley, I think he could definitely make it. He's got the talent. He had back-to-back 1,000-yard -back seasons there at Iowa. He's a good receiving back, but he's also not afraid to run between the tackles, kind of like Deion Lewis. He needs to work on his turnover issue, though. He had a little bit of a problem fumbling there at Iowa. If he can get that in check, he can be a very good running back in the NFL, at least at, in a situational role. Uh, provide solid depth. Come out on passing downs. Uh, really give a mismatch to the defense if you have him and Deion Lewis on the field at the same time. Uh, same with Derrick Henry because he's also been working on his catching and route running ability. Uh, we've seen him start to develop and do some of that last year. Uh, Deontay Burnett, I think, could come in and carve out a role for himself as a depth receiver, possibly as um, possibly as a rotational piece, you know, give the other guys a bit of a breather for two or three plays. Um, he's not the biggest guy. He's not the strongest guy. He's not the fastest guy, but he seems to always be in the place he needs to be. 
He, he seems to always be where he's supposed to be. And one thing I've seen from him uh, watching his tape is he is a smart wide receiver. He know he has good timing on when to uh, make his breaks. Uh, he sees Sam Darnold back there is in trouble and is rolling out. He knows how to get separation and come back towards the quarterback. So he's very good at very that. I wouldn't take him out there and let him run go routes or post routes or anything like that. Uh, I would let him run some slants for me. I would let him run some out routes and things of that, you know, some short to intermediate routes for you. But uh, like I said, he's not he's not going to be the best wide receiver in the NFL, but he's going to be a dependable guy that's going to be where he's supposed to be and knows how to help his quarterback out when his quarterback does get in, into some trouble. Damon Webb, I think, has a real shot at making it. He came out to replace um, Malik Hooker there at Ohio State. It's Mike Rabel's alma mater. Of course, that's not going to play a role when it comes for roster cuts, but he will provide solid depth right out the gate. He's very familiar with Kerry Coombs, our defensive backs coach. So I've, he's got some familiar, familiarity uh, with the coaching staff that we do have here in Tennessee, but uh, he's going to have to develop on his coverage skills. Um, he's going to have to uh, get better instincts for the NFL, but the potential is definitely there. He can come out and definitely uh, have some potential. He is a guy, there's a lot of upside with him. He is a guy that I wouldn't be confident another team would pick him up if we cut him, but I think he's a guy that we could possibly put on our on our uh, practice squad and then grow and uh, get and find himself in a um, in a uh, player in a role for him to himself on the team. But it's going to take a few years for him to, to develop, I believe. But he does have a shot at making the actual roster, at cracking it, given we only have three uh, safeties on the roster right now. He could be that fourth safety that we do have for depth. So because of the, the lack of depth there, I believe he could make it. Now, Sheriff Fitch is a very interesting guy. I know there's a lot of people who are saying he could make the roster. He was a very, um, he was a very desirable undrafted free agent. Uh, because of his body type, he's big and he's athletic, but he doesn't really have the hip, hip flexibility that you need for the position. He's going to have to get more flexible on that, but he's got the strength. He's got the size. He's got the athleticism to play the position very well. So he's another guy who's got a lot of upside. He's a guy given the premium position that if you was to stick him on your practice squad, there's a good chance he might get picked up by somebody else. But we also have Josh Carraway from last year. We still have Kevin Dodd, who I don't think is going to actually make the roster this year. I feel like they're going to cut him. We have Aaron Wallace, who was having a pretty good season until an injury, a back injury, ended his uh, season. I think it was in week four, possibly week five. He was having a good season right up to that point. So uh, we got, we do have a little bit of depth, given Harold Landry is now our newest Titan there, coming by way of the second round. But uh, it, he could come in and crack a spot. I mean, he's in competition with Kevin Dodd. Josh Carraway and Aaron Wallace, and he might beat one of those guys out or two of those guys out. I really think it's between Josh Carraway and this guy. I don't think Kevin Dodd's going to make the roster this year, so I think it's between Kevin Dodd or yeah, uh, Josh Carraway and uh, Sheriff Finch for that position. We're just going to wait and see. I like Josh Carraway coming out too. Josh Carraway also had a pretty good preseason last year. John Robinson calls him his fastball. I think Harold Landry brings that same play style, so we'll just have to wait. See what happens. There's a lot of people that's really high on Larry Rose the third. And to be honest with you, I never found any tape about him. Don't really know nothing about him. Uh, I, I hear I hear that he's uh, like a Chrome Wadley, but he doesn't have the turnover issue. He's built a little more solid than what a Chrome Wadley is, but he's still a smaller type of receiving back. So I don't know too much about him, but those two, along with David Fluellen, are going to compete for the roster spot as that third running back now that uh, Kalfani Muhammad has been cut. And I feel like the Titans are going to do everything they can to uh, help these guys win that job, but they're still going to have to beat out David Fluellen. So I feel like the Titans are trying to get younger at that position. The last guy who I think is very interesting for this position is Ethan Wolf, the tight end out of Tennessee. And again, he's kind of like uh, Dante Burnett. He's not the most athletic tight end, but he is solid in everything he does. He's a solid route runner. He has solid hands. He's solid in blocking. He's been compared to Jason Witten a lot. He's going to come in and compete with Philip Supernall for that third tight end spot. And there's a good chance that he can win it if he comes in and picks the playbook up well, uh, learns from Delaney Walker, 
uh, falls in Johnny Johnny Smith's footsteps, he could come in and have a productive career at Tennessee, especially if this new coaching staff wants to run two tight end sets uh, in the foreseeable future. Delaney Walker, he's still a um, he's still a dynamic player. He's still a game breaker, but we all know it's no secret that eventually Delaney Walker is going to hit that wall. And when he does, we might have uh, two guys to come in and replace him in Johnny Smith and Ethan Wolf who can come in and be two productive tight ends in two tight end sets. But, uh, guys, thanks for watching. I got some great videos coming out, some that I'm really proud of. I just kind of wait in between, let a few days pass, so I'm not just posting everything one day and then it's a couple of weeks before you get anything else. I like to kind of space it out. Thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to leave a comment if you haven't yet. I want to hear your thoughts about this. Which free agent, undrafted free agent rookie, do you think has a chance to crack the 53-man uh, roster? Leave a like on the video. I really appreciate those. And subscribe if you haven't yet. Like I said, there's some great content coming out. God bless and tighten up.